Hey guys, George here. Um, I'm now doing my 40th subscriber special, although I should have done this when I had 40, and now I have 44 or something. Over 40. But I just want to make this video to thank you guys for 40 subscribers. Let's keep this channel going. Hopefully I can make it to 100 one day this year or next year. Hopefully. Today I'll be talking about my Bachman Spectrum Western Maryland Decapod. I just want to thank the person who gave me this. His name is Russell Bundy. I work with him at the Vines Gardens Railroad. I've actually been to his house many times. You know um, the videos that I made of that Camelback, G-Skill Camelback, that starter set train carrying stuff. That was his layout at the front of his house. He had two originally, but then he took the... Um, Took off, took away one that was in his backyard, and he has a big layout in front of his house. I've seen it many times. We had a event, and um, here's the story how I got a decapod from him. It was the year 2018 before COVID was even born. Over the summer, me and my dad and um, Russ and a few other people, we work at the Vines Garden Railroads up in Loganville, Georgia, at the Vines Gardens. We have our own little Petra Grant. Um, land, a thousand feet times three, we have three routes and a tram line. For a month, me and my dad had to work by ourselves with nobody else, and it was actually hard, but it was actually quite enjoyable. Just me and my dad, we actually had to do, we actually did bonding together. And then it was August, we run through August through September. Sadly though, this year we're not doing it because of COVID. Which freaking sucks eggs. Yeah. But hopefully next year in 2021, we'll grow bigger and stronger. If you guys want to find us, check out our Facebook page, Finds Gardens Railroad, or check out our website. But yeah, the next month, which was August, we um, I started school, but we do this on Saturday, so we ever meet. Russ was on a trip on the month that me and my dad were by ourselves. Dennis was in Colorado. That was one, the, Dennis is one of the workers who work at Vines. And, um, Bob, Mr. Bob, um, sadly this year he passed away. Let's, um, pay respects to him. And, um, the day that he come back, he came with this special box. I never knew that, um, Bachman Spectrum was, um, was made. I only know about normal Bachman. And he gave me this as a gift. He said, thank you for doing this while I was gone. I got this for free, and he got this for $110, which is pretty good. And he said he never ran this until I got it. It runs very, very smoothly. Surprisingly, if you know a special um, channel who does model train reviews and does Bachman, Bachman Spectrums, you may have seen my Bachman Spectrum Decapod. It was a Western Maryland, but it was 1102. Mine's at 1110. I run it on normal Bachman starter set track, fast track. This is not... This is, there's the bit right here. Sadly, it has come off. Hopefully, we'll rewire it one day. You guys have already seen this run. Taking a, see, you've seen it take a cold drag, a few box cars, a flat car, which constantly derailed. Here's a sad story. When I went to Legacy Station on that day, which I recorded, there were two Western Maryland knuckle coupler box cars, $3 each. Damn, I should have gotten those. But I got a book and a 1943 shirt, UP. But yeah, this runs slow, but I guess that's what decapods are meant to be. But it runs very smoothly. I don't know if it's DCC, but in the video it says these are already equipped with DCC. If anybody knows, if I can find a way to get a very cheap one for um, a cheap Bachman DCC starter set um, controller, that's just for very cheap. If anybody's selling one, let me know, because I need one to hear this whistle. I want to hear it whistle so bad. But yeah, like, in the video it says it has LED light in here. It wires up to the locomotive to have lighting for this. It does have sound. For some reason, I think this is brass. The whistle's brass, but it's not. It looks brassy. It's nice. It's not that heavy. It's really good for me. Knuckle couplers work great. It looks nice behind a one-car train. Sadly, I need to get more knuckle coupler passenger cars. Like, you know, I have a Pennsylvania dump car, but it, for some reason it gets stuck on stuff. But yeah, 
I need no exp um, explanation to show the box, but if you guys want to, here you go. That'll make everyone go wild. <sighs> yeah, but I know um, Conrail Modeler, he has a few Spectrum, he has a, um, he has a um, P Pennsylvania Diesel, a few others. But yeah, this is my only Spectrum. I'm hopefully thinking I'm going to get more one day, sooner or later. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Goodbye.